This third video uh, on conspiracies concerns speculation. When you don't have a lot of evidence about how something occurred or why someone did something, you can speculate wildly. And unfortunately, the more colourful images of the conspiracy community come from just that our speculation and our theories. It's not so much that we look for proof of theory. Well, some people do. Uh, it's more that it sh each theory must be disproven before it can be ruled out. Now, we can have a lot of active theories, and we believe me, there is nothing better for us, and if we're good at what we do, there is nothing better for conspiracy theorists than to rule stuff out. However, some theories are said to be uh, unable to be disproven, and unfortunately that is correct. Uh, some people have uh, claimed that it's a... Oh, what's that bloke in his teapot? So I've forgotten the name. It's one of those teapot theories where it could be out there, it just would be so almost impossible to find. So sometimes the best... This is me doing it again. The best conspiracy theorists I know are people that rigorously try and disprove their own theories and actively ask people to try and do the same. And you can't... However, you can't force logical fallacies equal disproof. If you say, well, it sounds ridiculous, so it probably is, well, until you can disprove it, it's as valid as any other theory. So, yeah, that's, that's disproof. The thing that's needed to handle speculation, because until you can disprove it, it's valid speculation.